<laughs> Good health. Tis the season to get sick. Colds are beginning to sideline people really everywhere. Everywhere you look. And Dr. McGeorge here, he routinely sees patients in the ER who turn out to simply have a cold. They have a lot of questions. Uh, and Doc, you're here to answer the most frequently asked ones when it comes to the flu. Exactly, Karen and Jason. In fact, the most commonly asked question is actually whether a person should stay home from work. And generally, the answer is yes, especially if they are still contagious. But keep in mind, you're usually contagious even before you have symptoms and you stay that way for about five days. When people are sick, especially when they live with others, they want to know how to protect people around them. Don't sneeze or cough into the air without covering your nose and mouth. Contagious droplets can spread several feet in a cloud around you. You and everyone else should also wash hands frequently. Now, the best way to treat the symptoms of a cold is another very common question. First off, an antibiotic is not going to do anything. They're only for bacterial infections. The fever and body aches are best managed with Tylenol or Motrin. Congestion in a runny nose can be tackled with Sudafed or another decongestant. If you have a cough, dextromethorphan is the ingredient you should look for in your cough medicine. Now, the issue of when it's important to see a doctor is frequently raised. While the need for a work note comes up often, it's not a medical reason. Medically speaking, you should see a doctor if symptoms persist or worsen beyond a week to 10 days, or if you have a medical problem that puts you at a higher risk for complications, like asthma, COPD, or heart failure. Now, often patients ask the rhetorical, why me? And that's tough to answer, but cold winter temperatures and low indoor humidity both contribute to the spread of viruses. Now, waiting out a cold at home is not unreasonable, but if it's the flu, there are certain medications that can be prescribed if you're seen right away. So signs that it might be the flu start with everything just being more severe, but the flu also brings a much higher fever and severe body aches. And on those lines, tomorrow at 5, I'm going to take you inside a local lab where they are helping fight the flu and sharing their best advice for you. Okay, about, oh, I'm sorry. No, I was going to say, a lot of people have those questions, and they also wonder about over-the-counter stuff. Is that going to cure my cold exactly magically. not going to cure it it's just going to make you feel a little better till you get better on your own right. and the stuff that kind of makes it shorter whatever that's called you know the stuff the antiviral the magic medicine you know, the they magic say, they medicine say, Take this, you're starting to feel <laughs> sick take this ahead of time i I've never tried it uh, airborne I, yeah. all no no thank you no all science it was a no sorry <laughs> there you go